Fear of the unknown as U.S. president breaks silence over CBN governor's decision to shut down all banks completely till 2023 election is over. This man must be a monkey. <laughs> he must be a monkey. Um, you see, I was telling someone not quite long, that was three days ago, that this man, though he passed through the four wall of school to read to study economics, but he never passed through the four wall of that university. It was the university that passed through him. You know, in the university, we have people who actually can cram very well. They can cram Jingan, a whole Jingan, an economics textbook. They can cram it from page one to the last page. And they will give it to you the way it is, word to word. But these same people, when you call them and say, okay, maybe after like... Uh, uh, like uh, 24 hours out later, give me an explanation of that thing that you gave to me from that book. They will start beating around the bush, and that is the person of uh, uh, MFLA. Maybe why it was in the department of economics, it was just cramming, cramming, cramming. That is what they call brilliancy, but he is not intelligent. Intelligence is when someone can be able to give it to you in explanation. Not cramming, but when you look at the person's opinion, you will see that it tallies with the writer of that book. That is opinion. That is what makes someone to be a professor of a book. Do you understand now? Real writing differently from what the other person that owned that book has written, but still talking about the same thing. It's just like we have in the laws of demand. We have many, many writers and their own different opinion and diverse opinion on what the laws of the man is all about. You understand what I'm saying now? Okay, so these are the things that Emefele is not an economist. How can you be saying that you want to shut down all the banks completely until the election is over? It's crazy and it's not good to hear in the ear. Look at the, the, the reaction from the, from, from the U.S. president. You, you, you need to hear this. I'm telling you, you really need to hear it. Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is morning news. All banks in Nigeria shut down completely till after 2023 election over attacks as directed by CBN governor. The U.S. President Joe Biden has reacted seriously on that very decision, saying that it's not healthy for Nigeria. The country already is facing an economic issue, and so it's going to worsen the situation. I'm so delighted to say that you don't have an economist in that very country. A very good economist to understand that it's not healthy and it's not okay. What will the people be eating? Who will provide for the people? Joe Biden has called on a MFLA with immediate effect to reverse that very statement and call back the banks to their very position. The Association of Senior Staff of Banks, Insurance and Financial Institution, ASSBIFI, has directed all banks workers to stay away from work starting from Monday, 20th February, 2023, Iberia TV has learned. The banks are not expected to resume operation till after the 2023 elections. The directives is coming as more banks' branches come under attack by hoodlums across the country. Owing to the current narrow scarcity, the association had on Thursday during a media briefing in Lagos warned that it might be forced to direct its members to stay away from work if the attacks on banks and their staff were not immediately halted by the government and concerned security authorities. 
In a follow-up statement signed by Olusoji Oluwole, ASSBIFI National President and dates February 17th, the association said its national secretariat has been inundated with reports of threats and attacks on lives and properties of members and banks' branches. The letter with reference 5018 and addressed to all unit presidents and secretaries was titled Stay at Home Order. It reads, the National Secretariat has been un inundated with reports of threats and attacks on lives and properties of members and bank branches and subsequently has been on the field to monitor and confirm the reports. Make you no trial. You understand? Make you no trial. Because if them try them, then no go like themselves. <laughs> My people, we don't finish. Banks, not to work. What are we going to eat? Who are we going to run to? During the period of Chasundu, the country never experienced something of this nature. The economy was smiling. The demand curve was upward slope. Was upward slope. The GDP of the economy was at a favorable balance of payment. Because exports was exceeding imports. Because according to the law of economics, when export is exceeding import, then we have a favorable balance of payment. But when the import is seen, you know, exceeding the export, we have unfavorable balance of payment. And when the demand curve is seen sloping downward, it means that the economy is dropping and the GDP is completely flat. My dear listeners, I am not just speaking because I'm speaking as an economist, but I am pained. I am pained. I would like to drop my broadcast from here till we meet in the evening. Don't forget your comments, my dear listeners, are still very much important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.